Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Snoo. I've got another video for you, this time about trade. A topic you might be getting curious about, especially as you start reaching the end game, as you begin to notice it's getting harder and harder to find upgrades. Uh, you've probably been thinking to yourself, I wonder what the market actually has. Is there a market anywhere? Where are people actually trading? Is there real trade going on? There is a trade channel after all, right? But uh, it's like completely inactive. Or if people are typing there, nothing's really happening. And so it's true. Uh, there's definitely no robust trading going on uh, within the systems built into the game. However, there is a place. In fact, it's even sanctioned by Blizzard. It is the Discord, the formal Diablo for Discord. And if you sign up for the Discord and you sign up properly, which I'm going to show you from scratch, you can unlock the whole world of trade that's going on. I must warn you. Quite a convoluted system. It definitely feels like the wild, wild west out there. Uh, th there's no way that a uh, seller has to commit to an auction or anything like that. It's definitely not an auction house. Uh, so it might be a little bit frustrating for you, but it's the best thing we have right now. And while I did research and did discover there are a couple videos on this topic, there's I didn't see a single one uh, actually showcasing a trade, especially from the seller's perspective. So that's what we're going to do today. I have been keeping some of the best items I find. How do I know they're the best items? Well, they're items that I would consider the best. And after having leveled as much as I have done, uh, I looked at a lot of different guides for my own build, considering it's smart loot and I'm pretty much finding gear for my own build. I know what is worth a lot of gold and what isn't uh, for the most part. And you're probably getting a, beginning to get a nice handle on that as well today i'm going to attempt to sell this amulet i think this one has a very high chance of selling for a few million gold at least and it's because it has two of the most important stats on an amulet for a barbarian especially a whirlwind barbarian which is the most popular skill for a barbarian and those rolls most importantly are extremely high the fury cost reduction and cooldown reduction it also has a third roll that is at least useful for most sword wielding two-handed whirlwind barbarians uh, and then the fourth affix nobody cares about and that's kind of the general theme you need an item that has three in most cases it needs to have three really good affixes and so that one other one can be swapped over and that will make a high quality item in the rare case of the amulet the amulet is the most difficult slot to satisfy with three extremely good uh, affixes on there so this one should suffice it's a very rare case where having only two extremely good affixes while rolled uh, will be enough to make an item really valuable so how do i go about trading i want to trade this amulet i want to get rid of it because i have other amulets that are good and i have one that's already good enough for this of course if you find a really good item for your build you might just want to equip it but eventually you're going to start finding items that are basically repeats of what you already have and you don't need it and you'd like to sell it so we're going to go onto google and i recommend just typing in uh Discord. Diablo for Discord. Okay? Uh, it's the top hit. It is the official Discord for the Diablo 4 uh, community. And here we go. You can join right here. It's going to give you a prompt. You see there's 100,000 people online, so that's how you know it's probably legit. <laughs> um, I made the mistake before of only selecting this one here. Softcore, seasonal, unavailable yet. You actually have to select softcore non-seasonal uh, or non-seasonal as well. Uh, to get the right thing. Now, the, the remaining ones don't matter. Uh, of course, you need to read all of this and adhere to the rules. Down here, if you scroll down, well, now that we're in, softcore non-season, look for group trade. And this is the thread you're going to want to go to, classes, rares. And what you'll see is there are a lot of different items here. And it is a very poor system. <laughs> you can search right here so if i want to find pants but i mean you have to know you have to know the simple things like if you want to search for pants you type pants not leggings for example uh, if you want to search for helmets you probably type helm or maybe helmet uh, but probably not head <laughs> so you have to be kind of cautious about how you search for things it's very easy to miss the things it's important to know as a seller uh, to type in your own title uh, you can see that dr is popular a uh, little acronym there it means damage reduction and pants that's what they are and then you know weapons i'm going to type in mace or sword you can see there's certain um, 
identifiers like core that means core damage str means strength vuln means vulnerable and so people have become to be accustomed to using these sort of short words short phrases uh, i see crit damage i see sometimes written out as crit damage c damage cdm uh <laughs> yeah so that one's a little hard to repeat but anyway you get an idea and you can see people are attempting to, to sell this they don't really type in anything uh, important in most cases they just kind of put the item there to see uh, if there's any takers and well I got bad news for you most of the items aren't good enough they're not that interesting here's somebody actually bid for an item there but uh, I'm just kind of trying to show you right quick here I'm hoping to find something that is worth a lot I guess uh, getting a little unlucky there with the sword a lot of swords people post aren't very good amulets have a bit higher chance uh, here we go. So there's one that's pretty good. Look, this one is similar to mine. See, it has the fury cost reduction, very well rolled. And then it has cooldown reduction that's not so well rolled. It has a little bit of DR, also not very well rolled. And then shrine buff duration could be considered good. Somebody's willing to bid 15 million. That's what that is, million. Nothing ever gets sold for less than 1 million. Probably not worth your time uh, unless it's for a million. You can see it's not always in English too. Okay, here we go. We finally got one. Uh, that is set up pretty good. So what makes this one so good? Well, this is an outstanding amulet. It's got fury cost reduction, pretty good roll, very close to perfect cooldown reduction. And it has, in most cases, at least for pushing the third best affixes plus two all defensive skills. This is going to sell, this is an absolute monster of an amulet. You see, it got a lot of people's attention and you can see kind of how the timing of it there, there, there is a cooldown of like, uh, I think it's like 30 seconds. You can't just bid constantly. <laughs> and you got people who aren't necessarily even taking real bids, but it looks like uh, 80 million gold was the last one. I don't know, maybe if they backed out. Uh, looks like there was just a lot of typing, but I guess, uh, let's see, this happened, this last message was four minutes ago, so it looks like this might actually get sold if the seller is willing to buy. But here's the here's the worst part. The seller doesn't have to commit to selling this, even if we go through this entire process. So, you know... <laughs> can be frustrating um you've been warned the seller is the one in with all the control here uh but if you're the one trying to sell items that's good but on the flip side it's a buyer's market because so many people have some pretty good items that they're trying to sell and and uh you can quite often find really good items for very cheap the question is can you get the seller to actually sell it so you can see the amulets are a hot are a hot one uh they'll fly off the shelf if they're good enough and rings are also pretty good if they have like vulnerable damage, crit damage, critical strike chance, high rolls on those. Remember, you only need three out of the four affixes to be good for it to be worth a lot. But we're going to go in here. We're going to type new post. And we need to make a picture. Now, there's a few different ways we can do that. Uh, you can do the old screenshot copy and open it up in paint and crop it and everything. Uh, apparently, I can type Windows Shift S. Opens a prompt here. This is a Windows function, I guess. And that copied it right there. And then I just control V it and it goes straight into the picture slot. Pretty cool. So it is usually suggested to type WTS for want to sell. This is very much like a form approach of selling things, not like an auction house at all. I'm gonna probably type amulet. And what you type after this, just, you know, you have to keep in mind, people are typing search things, typing what you want. Uh, cooldown reduction is always CDR, so I know I'm going to want CDR on there. Uh, Fury cost, I guess. Fury cost or, or something like that. So this is a barb-only amulet, which means I need to select barb. But if it could potentially go for multiple classes or all classes, like, for example, the crit, crit, vulnerable ring would be, I'd select all five classes if that's what I was selling there. Do try to be polite and not... Try to sell us. Uh, try not to sell a wand to a barbarian, <laughs> or like, I don't know, a two-hand mace to a sorcerer. I'm guessing they can't carry that. <laughs> so, yeah, amulet CDR. Uh, let's see. I, I think most people are kind of doing the dividing thing here. The divider. I'm gonna type in a bonus word. Hi CDR. Try to get connected maybe a, a dash here to make it a little more polite and easy and to me that is nice and easily readable but the, again the problem is this unless people are searching the specific parameters of the title it's just going to 
fly down the list as people are typing them. So you don't really get much time where there's a lot of eyes on it anyway. And, and honestly, the vast majority of people aren't even here, aren't even looking for items. But this is where people are beginning to go, and I'm expecting it uh, to grow. Now, what you type here, most people don't type anything. Some people type offer, you know, whatever. Uh, sometimes I've typed like min 3 million because I don't want to sell for anything for less than 3 million. But honestly, most people just leave it blank or type offer. So I'm going to post that. And now we're going to let it ride. But first thing I'm going to need to do, because I don't have a Discord automatically pinging me every, right, every second, I am going to adjust the notification settings on this specific thread. I don't want to miss the message that was happening to me at first. <laughs> Made me look really impolite. So now I will get a prompt anytime somebody bids on that. And I'm pretty confident this is going to sell for a few million gold. So we'll play it out and we'll cut to the action. Uh, because I'm not going to make you sit here and wait for people to start posting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The auction has ended. A lot happened. So here's the item, the original item, and you can see immediately got a three million bid, then five, that just means five million. I went ahead and said to give the people confidence that I was actually a serious seller, that I said I would close it in 10 minutes or two minutes after the final bid. Then, you know, everybody came running in. This is really good because it kept recycling this item to the top of the list. So it got a lot of eyes. If there's at least three or four people bidding constantly on it, then you're not gonna get something much better than that. Uh, it went all the way up 25, 26. You can see it's still only about four or five minutes later. It goes all the way up here. And wow, it just kept going and going. And eventually the 10 minute mark hit. And I went in and said closing two minutes after the last bid. One minute left. Then I asked this guy to give me his battle tag. He did message me the battle tag. I'm not going to show you that for privacy's sake. Uh, but I did go into my Bnet and add him in. And then he has accepted. And now he is requesting a party invite. And uh, that's a new prompt, okay, next to the party's world. You do need to have cross-play faction selected. So if you have that unselected, you can't even do this. You can't group, can't make, uh, you can't group up with people anywhere in the world, and you can't make trades anywhere. And if you go to the town portal hub, you can port straight to somebody anywhere they are, unless it's like inside a dungeon. But here we go. I have the item. It is for 55 million gold. I can go in here and I can... Sorry, I need to, uh, there he is. Okay, here he is. Though he has to be right next to me. Request trade. Get a little handshake icon above. And yes, you need to be standing right next to them. <laughs> Does not have to be in town. Can be out in, the, out in the open world. Okay, that was kind of laggy. Maybe there's some latency issues. So I have to put this item in here. And then he has to add gold. Now, this is where you add gold. If you're the buyer, you're going to add gold. And it will come up with a prompt here, and you know he's he's gonna basically do this, right? Except I don't even have 55 million right now. He needs to add gold. It looks like he's having some latency problems. Uh, the trade does seem to be pretty secure. You lock in the offer, and then both locked, and you can verify. Then you accept the trade, and the green light is there. The trade was successfully completed. I hate it when a pop-up box comes like this. It makes me think there's an error <laughs> in the game getting kicked out. And now I have 60 million gold. So. Well, uh, yeah, we can do this here. And now he starts asking me questions about Warwin. <laughs> so we'll get that out of the way. And I'll just go ahead and link in my amulet. Oh, I can't link him. Anyway, this is my amulet, and it is, as you can see, pretty much as good as his. <laughs> But uh, I, I was going to link it to him so he could, he seems to be, oh, he can see it anyway. I have other defensive amulet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, for the sake of moving this video along, uh, we'll just kind of close it out there. What am I going to do with 60 million, though? Last quick point. Um, I went ahead and bought two rings because I had a devil of a time finding best in slot rings and I basically got really good rings. I was going for double crit, vulnerable resource generation. I might be able to transform this into max life if I go try to make this a super pushing ring where I don't necessarily need the resource generation. Uh, but uh, yeah, I spent 35 million and 40 million gold respectively on the rings and 
I think I, I don't think I've actually bought anything else, but I've been prepared to buy, you know, gloves or weapons if I can find them. Uh, they can be kind of tricky, kind of hard to get. Just keep in mind, if you if you want to make a sale this big, you have to find an item that's actually pretty big. And uh, tons of items. I try to sell things, honestly, most of the time, they don't even get a single bit. Uh, so you can very easily find yourself wasting time uh, messing with the Discord trying to do trade. But it's nice to learn. It's nice to, to kind of get a sense of uh, the market as it grows, as it expands, as more and more people reach the end game, as more and more people begin to activate and trade you probably want to be one of the people there in the know in the beginning so this is how you do trade and that is a gg item trade sell showcase for you and that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one next time